so the wait is over welcome to gg africa this is the show about african video games and the developers that make them we shine a spotlight and review the african talent that is right here on our continent guys they are setting the agenda and bringing our narrative front and center it's about time don't you think What am I doing out here in the streets of Joburg? Well, coming up today, we interview a Joburg-based gaming studio called Space Salad. And later, I will try my hand at their video game called Doppa Dash. Let's get into it. My name is Tabi Koma. Um, I was born in Port Elizabeth. I'm the lead game developer for Doppa Dash. I'm the lead visual developer of Space Alice Studios. Um, I also am the boss. I'm Juan Lilia Matevula. Um, I'm the head sound designer for Space Alice Studios. I've been doing that for the past two years. Um, so the name, when we started out, we were seven different creatives. We were like, we want to create out of this world uh, content. Salad is, 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 a, is a meal made up of different uh, veggies. Tomatoes of fruit, yeah. You can even put Vianas. I've seen Paloni in salad, but there's different, there's a variety of things in a salad, and that's where the name was birth Space Salad Studios. Speaking from the point of getting into game development, um, I've played games like my entire life. Um, I was inspired by games when I was a kid, most fun thing I've ever done in my life. And what I wanted to do since I was a kid was inspire other people to uh, play, inspire other people to enjoy games the way I did. We part of the 1% of black game developers worldwide. We ended up becoming a calling because, you know, this is the best way to tell stories, is actually putting somebody in your shoes, you know. Whether it's a, your race car driver, your Lewis Hamilton driving as Lewis Hamilton going through his story. You can only do that in games. tackling a social cause and we're making it fun. So Doppa Dash is a 3D racing game, 3D combat racing game about street surfers. So we've literally turned Need for Speed. We've, we've taken that concept and merged it with street surfers, who are the guys pushing around trolleys. You probably see them in your community every trash collection day or every week. And uh, we made a racing game about these guys. And instead of collecting pink slips for other cars, they're collecting heaps of trash that all racers bring. And that's like a form of currency because they're responsible for like 90% of recycling in the country. So we want people to know that, to appreciate and admire these uh, men and women that wake up every morning. And we have a kick-ass soundtrack, you know, like, we the first game to have an Ama Piano soundtrack, developed by this guy here. Shy guy, but like you guys should check it out on Spotify. When you're racing there, you can get that African feel, you know. You find yourself doing the pouncing cat while collecting trash, so yeah. So we're looking at ages 9 to 24. The research that we did, recycling is not done by people over 35. The youth are serious about changing, uh, serious about climate change and changing people's habits. A lot of people overseas don't think that Africans are doing much about recycling, you know. We're not like, we're not playing a role, we're not active and the content that you see on Africa, on Africans is this poverty stricken country where it flies all over kids' eyes and there's garbage everywhere. We're trying to change the narrative. These guys have managed to organize themselves, you know, and do things outside of a close corporation. We won a, a Project Springbok, which is like the Comic-Con kind of indie game competition. Um, I told my mom about it. I was like, hey, look, we won. And she's like, wow, that's amazing. Tabi, mm -hmm. 
cool. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, but I know you get excited about this stuff. I mean, I I, I enjoy it. Yeah. It's cool, but I I don't. It doesn't come out. <laughs> Winning an award like that kind of makes us legit. You know, it's like these guys know what they're doing, even though most of the time we didn't know. Um, at the time when we found out we won, it was a really stressful time because it was one of those downward moments. We didn't even like appreciate it. But only now, like a year later, I'm just like, whoa, we like champs, we like Comic Con yeah. champs. Ish, you know, like, yeah. I feel like we won by, by accident, but <laughs> accidents don't really happen, especially with like such a big competition, because it wasn't just us. We were competing with other African countries and it, it's a good feeling because it means that we can compete on a international scale. Also, like, you know, there to be more companies than just the one in Cape Town, you know, Free Lives. Um, a bunch of places. I, I, I just want the future of gaming in South Africa to, to blow up. Mm. I want people to be able to study it. I want people to be able to play it. And I want us to release AAA games as well. I want kids to have fun. <laughs> To be able to play cool games, yeah. cool games, not just like cool games from like America or yeah. the UK, just like cool games from SA made by like guys that look like you. So yeah. What African game is to me is um, taking our power back, you know, as a people. It's more of like stories of hope. Hope in actualization, not just hope as in waiting for someone to come down and help us, but like we we going through this, but we're still winning. All right, so... I just want to, before I start playing, I just want to introduce you to our like five lovely characters. Mm -hmm. So this is Wandile. Wandile is like the Lewis Hamilton of Dopa Dash. She's oh. the fastest. So he represents the paper gang. And then we have uh, Azania. Azania is like the youngest racer here. Nice. She represents plastic. And then we have Silo. Silo is part of the glass gang. Uh, he's the naughty guy who's been dropping you at last. And then we have Nomkita. She's part of the metal gang. She's really strong yeah. and she's got like really deep spiritual roots, you know. And then we have Mohao. So Mohao is part of the Ken oh, gang. This is cool. Yeah. So he's part of the Ken gang. He collects Ken or aluminium tin. Okay. Yeah, it's actually a, there's two different. There's a difference between her and I mean him and um, Nomkita. Nomkita's metal and he's Ken. And some people would argue and say that's the same thing. But it's not. Oh, we also, if you can listen carefully, we use like unique sounds from the characters. So when they shoot. Oh, yeah. I what did you say? Konji, you were saying you badass, ne? Oh man, come on. I can beat this like any day. Aish. It's just the first time, you know? Nice, 1000. We won. We won. <laughs> it's teamwork. Dopa. <laughs> Dopa. Yes. Yo, how, how much was it? Because I'm going to beat the high school today. <laughs> okay, no pressure. So use the directional arrows. Okay. So. Oh, Kita, what happened? <laughs> Girl, get up, get up. There you go. <laughs> they are so far gone. Am I even like, I still in the up. race? <laughs> I'm still getting used to the controls, so please don't judge those who are watching right now. <laughs> <laughs> But you're still in the race, you didn't give up. I'm still in the race. Yeah, let's go. There let's we go. go. Let's go, the let's one go. Guy's back, so. Oh, she's so badass. I like yeah, her. You're number three, so keep going, keep going. You can catch up. So at the end of the game, or the, the trash bags, as we mentioned, um, this is your currency. Okay. So this is like, these, we call them Dopa coins. So this is something that you convert in the, in the actual game as uh, currency to buy things, like a cart or unlock characters. Okay. So the more trash bags you collect, the more points you get. So you got a paper plate, so you can use that as like a... Oh, you get the bottle. No, oh. no guys. You got a bottle of your... Oh. Turn, 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 turn. <laughs> <laughs> So, I had my try at Dopa Dash and very interesting parts of the game. 
I think one of the things that was really striking was the fact that you learn about the social factor of recycling. You have characters that number one can recycle different products from paper, plastic, glass and metal and of course you learn about the fact that you can make money from actually recycling. Then lastly another main important part about this is the representation. The fact that I can see someone that looks just like me in the actual game which is very important for Africa. So this brings us to the end of the show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment and like. Don't forget to use the hashtags GGAfrica and hashtag Telcom1. Until next time, it's game on.